Thanks for those of you who joined us the other night talking about ankle arthrodesis um, in, in, in our indications conference. A couple things I wanted to highlight on this particular video and uh, just some of the, the tips you're going to get. This is a case in which we did an ankle fusion and we talked a lot about optimal alignment. We use some different x-rays to judge that. One is this axial alignment view. So if you look here, you should see the um, axial alignment. Um, if you draw a line in the middle of your tibial uh, mechanical axis and look at what the, where the calcaneal tuberosity rests, you want it to be about the medial third to give it about 10 to 15 degrees of valgus. When we look at the lateral, we'll draw a line in the middle of the tibia and then we'll draw a circle actually at the, tib at the talus with a, a point in the middle. And that really a lot of times lines up pretty closely with that lateral tuberosity of, or the, the lateral facet of that uh, talus. And then you can kind of judge how anteriorly or posteriorly translated you are. In this case, you can see it's a little bit anteriorly translated. Um, the uh, uh, line across the bottom uh, can, of the foot can indicate where your plantar flexion dorsiflexion is going to be. You want to be at about a right angle, so zero degrees um, to slightly dorsiflexed. And then external rotation should be about 10 to 15 degrees, and that's mostly just a clinical finding looking at the tibial tubercle and then looking at the second metatarsal to make sure you're 10 to 15 degrees of rotated. So of rotation. So if you look at our final x-rays here, fusion looks nice and solid. You can look at their axial alignment on the um, image on the left. If we draw out our angles on the right, you can see we are a little bit anteriorly translated. I love the plantar flexion dorsiflexion, slightly dorsiflexed. Alignment looks great. Rotation was great, but just a little bit anteriorly translated in this view. One technique tip that you can do to kind of make things easier for the surgeon to see it. As you can tell on these floral shots, sometimes it's hard to judge that. So if you just get a goniometer and you have that in your pocket, it's a simple thing. It's easy to carry around. You can actually put that alignment up on the floral screen and you can see and put that, you can see exactly what your alignment looks like. You can judge your plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. I think it's pretty accurate and it gives you kind of one extra kind of point of fixation that makes it really easy to see uh, when you get into surgery. So. Join us for uh, other technique tips on uh, upcoming indications conference in early December.